this is very much your primer to think about the things that are happening in your life right now, the situations that you find yourself in, the circumstances which are afflicting you or which you feel you're bouncing up against and struggling with. And to give yourself a really simple and comparative way of scoring one against the other. By going through this very simple process, you can take 10 minutes or you can take half an hour according to what thoughts come up during the exercise. You can use this to start to create your very first ranking of the situations and issues that are occurring in your life in order to assess them and look at how you can take action with those activities and decide which ones you want to keep or to amplify, ones that you want to push away and reduce the impact of in your day-to-day -day life. Looking at my notes, what they said to me is, I'm frustrated with the internal politics, but I love the scope for creativity. The team working opportunities are something I really enjoy and thrive upon. I enjoy the steady salary, but I struggle with the restrictions on what I can say or share within my team. And they've scored that one a six out of 10. How would you describe your current work situation, the environment that you are in, and how would you score that on a satisfaction scale from one being the lowest to 10 being the highest? Let me share an example that is very current for me and very real. I spend my time between England and Mexico. I love both places. I have somewhere to live in both places, but I want to make my home in Mexico where currently it is in England. So I'm split between the two. I have family in both countries and my opportunities are different in each country. So I'm exploring the issue of where do I want to make my permanent home base and how does that impact my family and my work activity. At the moment, I would score that as nine out of 10 in terms of importance. It's hugely significant and it takes up quite a lot of my time in looking at the process. If I take another example that is less prominent, but equally significant for me, it is about my work environment as opposed to my home situation. Do I want to spend more time contracting with organizations where I will go into their offices and work as a contractor for three months or six months, and then that contract will end and I don't know how soon it will be renewed, or whether I need to be applying to other organizations to do contract work as a beta reader or as a manuscript editor for them, or whether I should simply create more content online and continue to add to my existing portfolio of in-print and digital books. How do I score that one? Is it a nine out of 10? No, because it's not keeping me awake at night. It's not something I worry about, but it is something about my life design and living my best life that attracts my attention and gives me cause for thinking, okay, I need to give this attention. I'm gonna give this one a six out of 10 because I'm okay about it. It's not causing me grief or hassle, um, but I want to push things forward and define my working patterns in a different way to the way they exist currently. What would you like to put on this list? Where are you right now? How would you score your health situation? Do you feel like you're exercising enough? Is there something you want to change in terms of dietary behavior? How about your expression and your artistic endeavors? Are you devoting time to that writing activity that's important to you? Are you learning more skills in the kitchen and potentially creating a side hustle that might mean you are making and baking and producing food that you then sell in the work environment or which you sell at weekend fates or public events where you have a stall that you hire and you go out with 
a friend or a little team of colleagues. Is there something for you in the side hustle or the side gig activity that you would like to develop? Is it currently a four or a five and you'd like to make it a six or a seven? Is it pulling your attention out of concern and that you give it a high score of eight or nine, but you feel that you can generate income from it, which also keeps it and gives it a high score. But at the moment, you see it as something you won't start for another year, in which case you give it a low score. By allocating scores to the things you want to look at and explore, it gives you a ready-made indices of what's important, what's less important, why something draws your attention and you need to focus on it, why something can be left to one side for several weeks or several months, and you can focus on it later once you've given your time and attention to the priorities that you've just identified by asking yourself, where am I right now?